Hi guys, remember the last secret that I shared with you? Uh, my, I'm Coach Tang again here, sharing with you uh, the secret number two. Before that, some of them might not know who am I. So I'm going to introduce myself a little bit. I'm actually specializing in working with swimmers and triathletes from beginners to advanced level on getting them from uh, not able to swim front claw until all the way being able to swim as long as 5 to 8 k's. Uh, my longest distance I've swam in open water is 20 kilometers near Joma in 2010. Uh, without further ado, let me share with you the number two secret uh, of how to prevent your legs from sinking. Uh, that is to get your ha hands in the four o'clock position. What do you mean by that? Let me draw something and show you. Uh, we're going to get yourself, imagine that you're going to swim. I'm going to draw someone that's swimming. Uh, just imagine that someone is going to swim. And uh, this is the leg, sorry, I can't draw very, very well. But, uh, and then this is the head, uh, the right direction, and the hands. Okay. Most of them, they enter their hands near the surface of the water. Uh, but I want you to try to enter near the four o'clock position. What do we mean by four o'clock position? Uh, let's imagine this guy swimming in a big clock. Okay, and this is 12 o'clock, and this is 6 o'clock, and this is 3 o'clock, and this is 9 o'clock. If the lower legs is at 9 o'clock, your hands need to be slightly at 4 o'clock. That is to prevent your legs and your savior uh, to counterbalance legs from coming up. And this is what we call the seesaw concept. So every time when you take your hands recovering up, and then when you go down, don't go straight up to the surface to extend. Make sure that you go down to the four o'clock position so that to get the legs from coming up. Uh, because by going down to the four o'clock, there's more weight uh, downwards so that you can bring your legs, who is, who is usually heavier, uh, especially those who have longer legs, to come up. So that will prevent your legs from sinking. So stay tuned for our next video for secret number three, how to prevent your legs from sinking.